Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbert's Gaming Channel. I am the Dude. We're about to play Conflict of Nations on our Mongolia playthrough. Day 26. Holy macaroni, look at all this. That's all split into ones, so that's why it looks like there's so many. But it's uh, looks cool. It looks cool. So hopefully they're going to go take that and that. Oh, yep, yeah, they are. Good stuff. We're moving troops down to Lahasa so we can send some more stuff over here. Want to get an airport down here if I possibly can? I'll tell you what, if we put one just outside of Lahasa, that'd be quite good. We can get down here. I want to deal with all these enemies in the area as well. Right, so you can go kill these. Beautiful. I would like more aircraft upgrades before we do anything else. Um, oh, we could afford more upgrades. If it shall be. There we go. Right. Got three troops here. They can come off there. I think we can take out the rogue state there. Let's get these guys to go down into here as well. Then we'll bring them back up over to here. We took over these cities here, which are looking good, but we've obviously got work to do there. Need to take care of those as well. Problem I just don't have many very many jets. I'm not happy with that. Need a lot more. Hmm. set these up to go around a little bit. What's going on there? Alright, well we've got 79 notifications, oh my goodness. Let's have a look. Territory lost. Yeah, so we're starting to lose territory around Belarus. Mm. Not cool, bro. Let's make sure we're building troops because that is terrible. Sweet. Alright then, I'll leave that one here and we will continue to push west until these are all dead and gone. We can focus on our industry and everything as well while we casually take down India. Oh yeah. I'll see you on day 27 guys. Hey everyone and welcome to day 27 of our Mongolia playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Alright, let's fly these troops over to where they're needed. Mm -hmm. How long have we got left on this sea? I don't know, man. Let's go and bombard this thing. It's killing my peeps. This way. Whoa. 
Okay, we really need to deal with that one first. So we need the infantry that are going to be able to take our lands, so we'll focus on those. We need to get some more jets going. What is going on with my jets? So, oh, we got... This is not good, is it? Okay. Right, yeah, we've got nothing else to move right now. This is kind of terrible. All our troops are currently needed in their locations. I need more jets before I can really act against our two enemies. And Greece is already threatening us as well, so... Mm. Is it though? Hang on, wait, no, it's not. What am I saying? Greece is gone. It's Serbia that took all this. We ain't got to worry. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, I'll leave that one here, guys. Let's have a quick look down here. Just, uh, they're just fighting all our people all the time. It's annoying. Sweet. Yeah, I'll leave this one here, and I'll see you on day 28. Hey all, welcome to day 28 of our Mongolia playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Right. Let's go clear some of these up. I think we cleared the one up where roughly where we're sitting. We've got 103 wassets, which is never a good sign, is it? That cast seems a little bit too many. We took that out. Territory lost, Belarus. Right. Belarus being a punk. Got some troops. Where's this one going? Take that one out. I need I need more jets. I mean I'm trying to work on jets to be honest with you, but we'll go into the sea, that's fine. And this one's coming in here. I don't know if it's gonna make it, but we'll try and do this little land claiming. We could help the, the cause a little bit, maybe. Although it's weak. Hmm. I feel like there's going to be something there. So we'll go down there. Because it's only just been taken by Ukraine. We'll just make sure we kill it. Right. We've got a jet here. Doing nothing. So just go land. I ain't sure we could kill some Afghanistans over there. Mm -hmm. Try and clean this area up a little bit. This is taking us such a long time to get anywhere with this one. That's you sorted for the next 18 hours. Good. Send them down into there. Sacrifice attack and then just go patrol over that city. I'd rather take the city than take over. Kill out little things like that. Right, we've got three jets on the way. I need to annex some cities. That is clear to me. And it's going to have to be a supply box C. So let's look here. Can't be annexed right now. It is annexed. What am I doing in my life? Okay, so we start doing these crazy things. Annex that one then. And if we can do another one. Cool. We'll annex those two cities and then hopefully we can get to the front line a bit quicker. Get some more troops, even if it's infantry for a little while. 
I would like to get some more jets going from the back cities. I think it's probably the best bet if we can upgrade the cities or our homeland city, should I say. Olgi. If we can upgrade these all to produce jets, we can fly them to the front. Is that going to do it? Oh, end game. Ah, oh, go on then. I'll... How annoying. What is... How is the game giving up on me? I think so. Alright. Well, what we'll do is we'll try and get our homeland cities so that they all produce jets. Then we can just fly stuff in until everything's a bit later in the game. We can fly it anyway. So, um, that'll help us progress. I'll leave that one here and we'll be back for day 29. Hey all and welcome to our Mongolia playthrough on Conflict of Nations, day 29. Oh, hello. Got four jets ready to rock and roll. Nice, good stuff. Now do we have an airport anywhere useful? We've got one here. Good. Let's get them down there. We can split these down and just conquer this land seems like it's clear then getting back down to the city that's all good this jet is just going over there so what I would like you to do is start killing these please because it's just going to annoy me these being there for so long you're doing some killing over here are you I'm going to cancel your orders because that isn't looking good for you is it right We've got two infantry here. Let's put a patrol down on Amenabad. We'll get these extra troops down here instead of going back into that city. Then we can push through into that city with three. Nice. We've got a jet here that really needs to heal. Man. These cities are taking so long to sort of get going. Now who are we attacking here if we were going to push into their Serbia? Right, let's not make any rash decisions. Let's get up there. We'll start taking some, some of this land over. And then we'll be ready to push with the other units. Let's get an airbase built in here. And we need to start killing off these things that are just dotted around everywhere. Still made. So, let's get some more jets. More jets. That's when you just build this airport, but I'm trying to build airports like everywhere at the moment. So let's build one there. We can get some infantry from these places. That's back there and Vitbisk. Get some of that. Nice. Okay, looking good. Once these cities have all calmed down, that'll be good. Are we at war with these? Yeah, we are. So we're already at war with them. Okay. Just take some land off them. Right, we're a little bit poor for resources at the moment. Okay. Can't do any of that. Belarus killing stuff. It's been annexed over in here. Nice. Yep, that's where we're building the new airport. Just want to be able to move around quick. Now, that's usually I wouldn't build so many airports, but because of our land mass and it's taken so long to get over, I feel like it's really necessary just so that we can move around. Let's move that infantry over here as well. We've got to finish taking India out. 
because again I don't like having enemies behind my front line so um, we'll be pushing through India as fast as we can so we can join up and take Europe I think that's the best best course of action but I mean this is going well anyway we've got Belarus on the back foot and we'll be attacking Serbia and taking piece by piece Beautiful. Alright guys, well I'll leave that one here and we'll be back for day 30. Hey all, welcome to day 30 of our Mongolia playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Oh baby, we've got some... got some jets. Let's send them over to the front. Uh, where can we go? In there? Send them in there. Nice. Bit of infantry going up as well. Lovely chaplain in that same place. We're gonna take Belarus out of the game as soon as we can. These guys have a little fight. Uh, let's take all of them, leave one infantry, we'll go up and take a Vilnius. Perfect. Where are these guys standing? Do we want to attack Serbia? Do we want to start another fight at the moment? I don't know. Probably not. So let's get these guys up with this tank there. Support that city. Have a little look around, make sure we've not got nothing else there. Borden. Nice. Okay. And then we've got these to clear up as well. So let's have a look at our events because I think things have gone down. Belarus eliminated in Brest. Um, territory loss. Rak Rajkot. Okay, so there's something in there. Let's go take our jets down. That's how we roll. I'm gonna send one up this way. And then we'll come back down. Lovely jubbly. Gotta get some more of this done, maybe. Kill some of these. There's just stuff everywhere. It's crazy. Also, that's a bit risky, isn't it? Run away! And we're, our borders have been broken here. Look at the armored recon. Okay, definitely need some more troops. Let's use these jets here to go and help take out some of these recon vehicles that are pumping out, or medium tanks, whatever they are. Let's have a look at what we're making. Now I'm trying to get airports in every homeland city and the ability to make jets so that we can spawn troops out and send them on quick as we can. So as you can see that's going pretty well. But we are going to run out of components so we need to make sure we keep an eye on our resources so which we are doing some. Let's get as many electronics and components done as we can. I'm going to go with electronics first. Get a component one. Running out. There we go. That'll be pretty good. Uh, we're not going to be able to get any research, but we've got the tank T90 going up. And then the province has been entered. Fair enough. This game is in hand, I would say. Once we've taken India and moved Belarus out of the way. We'll probably take Norway, Finland and all that while our ally comes down here. I can't imagine there's much that's going to be able to stop us. So uh, we've just got to wait for it to get enough points and then we'll have them. If we look here, victory points is 5,920. And, you know, we're looking good for it. So uh, just keep going and growing. Nice. Alright guys, well I'll leave that one here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more daily content and I will see you on the next one. Take care all. The dude is out.